If you want to test out a quiz show, you could get a shiny floor studio, a dozen cameras and splash out on ludicrous expensive props and prizes. Or you could get some friends, a garage in the middle of nowhere and some boxes of sand. Welcome to the Game Garage. Today in the Game Garage, we are playing Wait For It, along with... Luke Cupforth. Hello. Evan Edinger. Hello. And you guys make stuff for YouTube. And, and we, we live together. And we live together. Also, More like, they're, they're, they're my friends, let's be yeah, honest here. I've literally true. just wrote my friends in for this game, <laughs> so... <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you. In front of you are your buckets. Mm -hmm. The better the answers you choose, the more sand will go in that bucket. Whoever has the bucket on the ground... What, are you okay there? He's got a cleaner bucket. Is it? Okay, yes. Look at this. Look at all yes. dirty bucket over here. I'm sorry. We're in a garage. One of our buckets is dirty. Yeah. I apologize. That's fine. fine. You're going to be answering questions. The better the answer, the more weight there is inside the box, and the more sand you'll be putting in your bucket. Whoever's bucket is on the ground at the end of the question wins that question. One of you is going to be going through to the final, where you could win up to 5,000 pence. Heads. <laughs> First question, we have nine airlines here. And the question is, which of these airlines has the largest fleet of planes? Oh. So the more planes, the heavier the box. You want to go for the heaviest boxes and the biggest Oh, fleet. so this is a tough one because yeah. there's some competitors here. Yeah, yeah, Evan, you won the toss, so you get first pick on this round. Largest fleet of planes, regardless of what they're used for. Yeah, largest fleet of planes. I'm actually going to go with American Airlines. American Airlines? Yes. Any particular reason for that? They're like the biggest airline. I know that it might be like some other ones in terms of other, but I feel like they're like, they must have a lot of planes. They fly totally loads of domestics. I'm friends with a couple flight attendants for American. Okay. Here you go. That feels like a heavy boy. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, All right. Heavy boy. Open it up. Oh, that's a full boy. Oh. <laughs> you want me to pour? Yeah, that's that is an entire. Oh. If you spill it, it's it's on you. But uh, well, it's on the floor rather. Well, yeah, that is the best answer on the board. So good start, <laughs> Luke. We know that uh, this isn't going to tip it right away, but the game's not over here. Mm -hmm. Which do you want to go for? Okay, so I think China Southern are a pretty good um, bet because China is a massive country, and we don't think about China existing. Qatar Airlines is a good bet. Delta's a good bet. FedEx is a good bet. I'm going to go for Qatar. Qatar. Yes. Okay. I reckon that was bad. I already, <laughs> I'm already not feeling Qatar. All right. Well, here you go. You didn't struggle as much. I'll be honest. One. I didn't struggle much with that one. I could have probably sold that a little bit better. Oh, God. <laughs> it's yeah. not even it's a luxury airline, so that's going to have not as it's many not customers. Even half full. There are Airbus 3, A380s and things. Oh, that, that seems like someone who knows about airlines over there. I know, I love airplanes. So just to compare those two answers, uh, American Airlines has more than 1,500 planes. Uh, Qatar has 220. <laughs> so oh. it's not the best start. One more pick each. Luke, you start this pair. What do you want to go for? I'm going to go for British Airways. All right. What I love is every time you mention an airline, Evan just kind of makes, yeah, makes a facial noise. expression or a noise or something. Can I change? No, I'm, I'm going I'm to keep with this on British Airlines. I think you didn't go for any of my safe bets. You literally went for the ones that would not. Uh, it's going to be China right. and FedEx. China, I'd say, is like middle ground, but it's definitely not up there. British Airways. Their base is in um, China. Let's see if it tips. If it doesn't tip here, then we know who the this, first question's gone to. I reckon this one's going to tip, but he's then got another one. This is I know what I'm going for a second, because you didn't pick... Oh, it's half full. British Airways is there. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's, let's just be sure. There is, there is a little bit of friction on this sometimes, so let's just, let's just even that up and just let it... Yeah, no. I still want another pick. <laughs> That's really adding insult to this injury that you went. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, Qatar Airways, uh, the second worst answer on the board, oh, 220. God. British Airways is the next one down the list with 275. Yeah. Um, between them, they have uh, about 500 planes. American Airlines has three <laughs> times that much. But just out of interest, what would you have gone for? Delta. Uh, Delta is the second best answer oh! on the board. 
Uh, you always go with the big US airlines that are flying domestic insanely. Thank you. I'm not American. This is just not that fair. Is, that is almost full, that one. Both, of, By the way, uh, I would never fly with American or with Delta. They're both horrible. <laughs> but, but I will choose them when I have to. Yeah, uh, that is. Uh, so that is a pretty comprehensive victory on the first question there, Evan. But it's only the first question. It's worth one cup of sand in the playoff. So if we're ready, let's go to question two. Question two, Luke, you're going to get first pick this time. We have nine Stephen King movies. Okay. And we are looking for the most successful one by Worldwide Box Office. Unless it's got a year on it, we're talking about the original. I am going to go with, just because it's been a phenomenon recently, it, 2017. There was absolutely no reaction from Evan on that one. <laughs> Just absolute poke. Did it flop massively? All right, well, we're going to find out. I don't Here really pay is. To anything. It does seem a bit. Uh... Here is your pick. <laughs> <laughs> I was genuinely worried you were dropping that then. Whoa! Wow. Oh, yeah. That was a good choice, Nice. Bob. Evan, your pick. Uh, the Green Mile is one of my favorite films of all time. Stars Tom Hanks, so obviously a good one. It's critically acclaimed. I don't know if it really did well in the box office. Out of all these, I mean, obviously Dark Tower is the newest, and I can't imagine that doing well, but I'm going to go with Pet Cemetery. It's, it's classic. I think that one... I'm, yeah, I'm going to go with Pet Cemetery for a number. Pet Cemetery. Yeah. All right, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> really excited to see uh, this one. Here we go. It's a light boy. <laughs> It had sand in it. <laughs> this is uh, important. It's a single grain. Make rolls. sure you've got all of the sand out there because yeah, um, you're gonna need it. There we go. So the bad news there, Evan, yeah. is was that the was the worst answer on the, the board. Worst that was the line. worst answer on the board. It took fifty-seven million dollars compared to its seven hundred. So, we've got, did you just dab? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> we've got another pair of picks, Evan. You got. Get one you've more. got to. Yeah. Take at the last, I basically the have to get second, and then he. You've got to tip the scales. The only ones that I recognize film-wise are Dark Tower and Green Mile. The other ones, I'm assuming, are quite old, maybe successful. I assumed I would have heard about them. I'm going to go with the Green Mile at this point, as I just really liked the film. All right. Maybe it's not the way the rules should be, but I thought <laughs> The Green Mile. Oh, he's used two hands. I used two oh, hands on the last come. one. He did yeah. I wonder. Oh, no. Well, hold on. That's a little bit tipping that way, yeah, so okay. let's just check. Okay. If this doesn't, if I, there we go, shake it a little. If this doesn't go your way, Evan, <laughs> then we know. <gasps> so yeah, because I picked last, like I said, you've got oh. this. Unfortunately, oh. all you need to do, Luke, is have enough sand yeah. to tip that your way. Okay, I reckon it's between Carrie and the Dark Tower. I'm going to say Carrie. Carrie. Oh, okay. Oh god. No, that's just I genuinely don't have enough I don't have enough uh, body strength to do that. I uh, think I mean I mean you just need one pellet. Yeah. One grain. Just need enough to do it. Shall I see how little I can pour to, to reach at the balance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I had to go for the last one, man. Yeah, there's not much you could have done there. Luke picked the best answer on the board to start, and unfortunately, you went with the worst. Um, Carrie is actually the, the sixth answer on the board there. Only 84 million, but it's enough to tip the balance in your favour. Green Mile was second? Uh, Green Mile was the second best answer. Yes, good well yeah. done. So, <laughs> two cups of sand to you as we go into the playoff. This is the playoff where we're going to decide which of you goes through to the final to maybe win 5,000 pence. So, uh, Evan, you won the first round quite decisively there, and that gets you one. Full cup. That's not full. Of sand. <laughs> so there no, you that's, go. That's not full. He, you know what? He's right. That's. I, I lost from a very small amount last round. I'm not messing around with this. There we go. One, yeah. one topped off cup of sand there. In it goes. Thank you. But Luke. Yeah, boy. Yeah. You won the second one. So. Oh, yeah. The good one cup of sand. Thank you. A little bit of friction in the seesaw as ever. But I think the second cup. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, easy. <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right. The playoff works like this. Luke, you're in the lead. You're going to get to make the first pick. Darn. Wow. Very that's exciting. upsetting. And we're looking for sports by the number of players on the field for one team. Can I call my dad? <laughs> <laughs> Phone a dad. Yeah. Three of these answers are completely fake. They're not just wrong. They're not even sports. Oh. 
Oh. So three of these are empty. And with you having the first pick, oh. Oh, you have the highest probability of making a wrong choice unless you choose a right one, then that gives me I could problem. choose one that I know is right, as in I know it's a real sport. Oh. I'm going to play this safe. Okay. And I'm going to choose polo. Polo. How many players do you think there are? I think there's nine. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's the only one we both knew. Ooh, it's quite light. <laughs> oh, you already have you already have one up above me as well. A little bit oh, higher. A little very bit higher. There we nice. Go. Very nice. It's a very nice amount of sand. I will tell you there are four players on the field in polo for one team. Wait, so the, the if I can pick one that somehow has more than four, there'd be more sand than that? Yes. yes. Some of these I'm like, they're totally fake. <laughs> like, and maybe they're not. Some of these I think maybe are real, but they sound fun. I liked the film. So I'm going to go with Coco. <laughs> Are you just taking a guess there? Is it because do you know that's a sport? No, I don't know. I if you've never heard of any of these. Forty-seven sounds familiar as maybe a washers game, but All right. Coco is. It has KH. It's either that or I would have. I'm not going to say what I would have chosen, but I, there's another one that looks real. Coco. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that was acting there. Oh wow! Your boy. Oh, Look, gosh dang it! Be a lady. To no, oh, wow. even with your extra cups? No, so. no, I reckon that's even. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Coco has nine players on nine. the field for one it's team. Still not even there. So you're absolutely right, and you're right to, to even it up there. It's basically a tie. We've got... That's <laughs> rude. Nice that's try. Rude. I mean... Nice try. No, it is. It's, it's, that's how it is. is that, yeah. Mine let's wasn't balanced. Let's have a look. Let's see if the... Uh, You're right. So rude. You're right. He's du he's dusted it flat <laughs> and it's gone that way. So physics. Yeah, Coco has nine players on a team. It's a tag game from the Indian subcontinent. So uh, well done. Was that just a complete guess? It it looks. It had a K next to an H, and I thought that sounds like a legit <laughs> thing for somewhere I've never been. All right, final pair of picks. Whoever's bucket is lower at the end of this pair is going. Through. One has just been calling out to me, and if you guys made this up, I'm be really angry that you did a really good job. And you keep looking at it, so now I'm scared that maybe I should, but I'm gonna go with Sepak Takra. Sepak Takra? That was what I was gonna pick. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you this much: it's not empty. Well, not let's empty. see how much is in it. That's some. That's some sand. Ah, uh, sand then some. That's a. Um, well, I didn't pick up a big fake one. Is this from like um, the areas of uh, Indonesia? Yes. This is, looks just like Balinese type of spelling in English. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. Play, played with a basket weave football, apparently. Luke, the pressure is on here. <laughs> I don't there think are I can still win. three wrong answers with empty boxes there. <laughs> You've got, now, you had the advantage at the start. There are also good answers left there. Can I win? Is it possible? Yes. Yes, it is. In fact, I'll tell you this much. If it wasn't possible for you to win, I wouldn't be asking you this question. Last pick is yours. Go for it. Okay, so I think 47 sounds like one that you've made up. Right. Because it's a question about how many are in each team. <laughs> and, a, and a number <laughs> is quite obvious. Yeah, you can talk this through. There's no chance you've given Evan, any clue to Evan here. But um, I should point out, these are not my questions. Okay. I'm not the question writer here. 47 does sound like either it's made up, or <laughs> the best answer. Like, I can't, there is no in between there. It's one of those two. I'm going to go with. Sound pops. 47s. You're going to go with 47s? Yeah. Just, just for out of interest, yes. what was the other one you would have gone for? That means I've lost. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The other one I would have gone for would have been Kabaddi. You would have gone for Kabaddi. Just to have a look here, Kabaddi, into the bucket over here, is. Quite full. Oh. Kabaddi has a lot of sand oh. in it. That would have probably taken you over, but it's not the best answer on the board. Oh! There's 47 people in this game, maybe. I don't know. Luke? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, 47s, as we prove it out, is a completely, it is entirely made up by a question editor. I'm sorry. Evan. <laughs> You're through to the final. Oh my, wait, what was the other fake ones? Uh, the ones that were fake, uh, futsal is real. That's, oh. uh, that's it's football, uh, but said with a lisp. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a football variant, essentially. 
Uh, Mega Regga is, you're absolutely right, it's entirely fake. It's an anagram of Game Garage. Calvin Ball is fake. That's from the comic strip Calvin and Hobbes. Corf Ball was the other good answer on the board. Really? Coco was the best. Corf oh my god. With, with nine. Corf Ball was the second best with eight. Evan, <laughs> you're through. <laughs> Are you okay there, Luke? We have been back and forth though. That was really close. Where do I go now? <laughs> do I just walk off? Yeah. Can I just sit here? We don't have a nice walk of shame rig. It's just like, you can, you can wait over there in the corner of the garage. <laughs> um, that was intense. I'll um, be back. Oh. Oh. <laughs> can we leave that so, in? Sorry. Yeah, yeah sorry we can leave that in. Yeah. Evan, welcome to the final. How are you feeling? Glad to be here, very nervous. <laughs> All right, this is your bucket, and it's currently empty. You're going to get to pick three things off there okay. to outweigh whatever is on the other side. But you do get a choice. It's going to be you against the anvil. If you go for the lightest weight to play against, you're going to be going for 1,000 pence, but you'll only need three fair answers over here to balance it. Go for the medium weight, it's going to be worth 2,000 pence, and you'll need three reasonable answers off here. Or you can go for the heavy weight, 5,000 pence if you get it, but you're going to need three good answers off here to outweigh it. You don't need the top three, but you need something close. You can see the category, you're not gonna know the exact question. We've got nine theme parks here. <sighs> what do you reckon it could be? Well, I know Verstel Prater in Vienna I've been. That is, uh, it has quite a huge Prater or quite a big uh, Ferris wheel. So it might have something to do with biggest Ferris wheels, just from that knowledge. Uh, it could be maybe Juck's position to a city center. Only because Versal Prada is like in zone two, it's pretty great. Uh, or it could be a number of people visiting. So obviously all in towers will be at the bottom. Uh, Cedar Point, really popular, has one of the fastest coasters in the world. Uh, it's got some good ones there. Uh, I don't think anything important is ever from the Isle of Wight, so I would doubt. But I don't really know what this is going to be. Right. How, how, do you, how do you feel about the category? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not super confident. I'm not super unconfident. I feel like I would definitely want to choose something in the middle with this one. All right, so it's your choice. 1,000 pence? 2,000 pence, 5,000 pence. What do you want to go for? I feel like I want to go with the, the 2,000 pence. 2,000 pence. Yes. All right, we are going for the middle weight. Yeah. Can we have the middle weight, please? That is an anvil. <laughs> okay. I will tell you that the question is, Theme parks by years of operation. Ah. So we're not looking for the oldest necessarily, we're looking for the one that has been open for the most seasons, if you like, the most summers, the most years. So that makes sense that there's a lot of British now because they're old AF, so. Uh, hmm. The World of Adventures one just sounds like such an old name that I can't imagine it being uh, recent. I want to choose Verstel Prater. As one of them, I know that's an old one. I'm let's hope it's been it's open in winter. I don't really know that. Um, I also want to go with, you know what? The world of adventures is scaring me. I, I feel like I'm in between that. Or, oh, Pleasure Beach. No, no, that's a water one. Water one's got to be new. Alton Towers is old. I went last year and it felt like it was still 25 years old. Uh, I'm gonna okay. I'm really sorry here. I'm so incisive. <laughs> We're gonna 100% go with Verstel Prater. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of. Uh, uh, Dyerhoff's Bakken, it might be new, but we're throwing that in. And I'm going to throw in a British one as well. Um, you know what? Give me Dreamland Margate. Okay. Are you sure? On all those three, are you going to lock those in? I'm going to lock those in. So we're going to get Versal Prater, Dreamland, and you had to pick the one I can't pronounce, Dyerhoff's Bakken. Sorry, Denmark. Of those, sorry. which are you most confident about? Uh, None. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I mean, I like Verstel Prater. I've been right. there. It seems let's, pretty darn let's old. Save that. Let's save that for last. Great. Which one are you least confident about? Uh, pff, uh, the Dan Danish the one. Danish one. The Danish one. All right. Let's go for the Danish one first. Ooh. Here you go. Ooh. Beat that anvil. Poor. All right. It's a good start. Now, it's, it's marked on my pronunciation guide here as Jehovsbanner. So we'll, we'll go for that. Yeah, I was about a 436 years of operation. That was not a bad choice. Thank God I didn't pick Cedar Point, Ohio, who as you a state hasn't existed for longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> now, your next one is going to be Dreamland in Margate. Dreamland Margate. That's like, okay, 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 okay. Let's see if this tips it. Oh, not oh. quite, but I, I saw that slightly start to wobble. Yeah, it's starting to wobble. We'll, we'll see how we wobble. are. Uh, Dreamland Margate. 
135 years of operation. It's okay. been going a while. Vienna. Vienna, Verstel Prater. This has to do it. Uh, hopefully. This Even has if it's to... like a couple grains might set me off here. For 2,000 pence. Oh. Oh. He sounds confident. Yes! yes! We beat the Anvil. A Vanville one. Thank Congratulations. Uh, first of all, that is 2,000 uh, 2, pence. There you go. That is yours. Mom, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, please. <laughs> Mom, please. Uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, Yehav's Banner was the best answer on the board, 436. Versal Prada, the second best answer on the board, 253. Uh, Dreamland was fifth. Cedar Point does actually beat it. Really? Whoa. Yeah. Chessington World of Adventures, which you nearly went for, 31 years. It was the newest and youngest part on there. That was a tricky one, though. Evan, thank congratulations. You very much. 2,000 Ooh. pence is yours. That's been the game, Garage. We'll see you around. Yeah.